Hey, we hope everybody had a great first full week of school. Well, we really appreciate uh, all the uh, patience and, and grace you've given us uh, with the changes in parking and drop off. Uh, uh, went really well today, so I think people were finally getting it down. So I uh, really appreciate all your help with that. Hey, we've got two kind of big things we want to talk to you about. Uh, first one uh, is in relation to student attendance. Uh, there's been some changes legislatively, and I know Adam and Cody have sent some information out, but uh, please make sure you're paying attention to that. Uh, the chronic absenteeism law uh, will definitely change things for our families. Um, there, it's, it's pretty clearly outlined. Uh, probably the biggest change, though, is that um, the county attorney is going to be involved and notified at a, uh, in all cases in which a student misses 10% of the days. Uh, and that's for excused or unexcused absences. There's a few things that are exempt, but that's a, it's a limited list. Um, so the uh, government is really encouraging all students to be at school, uh, as we always do as well. We've tried to work with families individually that have missed um, a certain number of days, but uh, this will be a little bit of a different uh, format and there'll be some communication. So just, just be prepared for that if, if it, uh, involves your student and you know we're also big believers that uh, being at school is important but um, you know you can learn anytime anywhere so if students are having success academically um, whether they're here every day or not uh, physically um, you know philosophically we're more about learning but uh, the law is the law and we will follow it uh, also the other big thing is uh, football uh, so Friday tonight excuse me is our first home football game we play Underwood should be a great game It'll be our first real night with the parking lot. And there's a couple of uh, changes that we're making. The, the biggest one that you'll notice is we're not going to allow any traffic to flow through uh, the lane kind of behind the stadium uh, and between the school and the industrial tech building. Um, so if you come in from uh, the east uh, parking lot, the new parking lot, you'll have to, you won't be able to drive through. You'll have to loop around and go back out that way. If you enter on the northwest side, you'll only be able to go into the parking lot there at the North Gym. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, we will have uh, all of our handicap and elderly parking as well as kind of what we call our VIP parking, which is really game staff and our game sponsors. Uh, we'll be able to park in that area that they've always parked uh, in that um, area near the industrial tech building and the bus lane. Uh, we're just not going to allow any through traffic. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Uh, also, just kind of typical game reminders are included in the Bulldog Brief, but uh, we really encourage uh, students not to bring uh, footballs to the game and be playing on the side. Make sure you're hanging out near your parents so somebody's keeping an eye on you. And uh, just really appreciate all the help with that. There's plenty of sidewalks to get in, so make sure you're utilizing those instead of walking through traffic. Uh, it's a much safer uh, pedestrian uh, entry now for fans, and we, we hope you take advantage of that. Um, and just other than that, we hope everybody has a great weekend. We appreciate all the help this week and go dogs.